whenever there is a radical sign what you need to be watching out for what kind of solutions you need to be watchful for extraneous solutions right things solutions that would not work when you plug them back in right so how do you solve so go ahead and square on both sides so you get x plus 4 is equals to x squared turn that into proper quadratic x squared minus x negative 4 is equals to 0 right now if you compare that to a x squared plus b x plus c is equals to 0 what is your a and what is your b negative 4 sorry negative 1 your b is b is how much negative 1 and c is negative 4 so you know a b c now and they are talking about solutions what is the one formula that you can use when you have a quadratic equation to figure out solutions quadratic formula what is your quadratic formula negative b plus or minus square root of all over to you pretty good now let's go ahead and substitute b is negative one what is negative of negative one positive one plus or minus square root of what is negative one square one minus four times what is your a one what is your c negative four divided by two times a what is two times one simply two so x is equals to one plus or minus what is negative four times negative four what is four times negative four by the way four times negative four and when you subtract negative 16 what does it become what does it become when you subtract negative 16 it becomes addition so what is 1 plus 16 so square root of 17 what rings does it bell what um right what bell does it ring what kind of number is that irrational number okay that is that is what kind of number square root of 17 is irrational number irrational number so you have irrational solutions so get rid of this get rid of that so answer has to be one of these two is that making sense now the question is when i have plus or minus you can say 1 plus square root of 17 over 2 and the other one is 1 minus square root of 17 over 2 right you are in the book your answer may be something else but uh, whatever i'm going to tell you that's the answer okay. now if you simplify this isn't it simply about 4.1 square root of 17 is near probably close to 4.1 because it's a little more than 16, right? So 4.1. What is 4.1 plus 1? 5.1. 5.1 divided by 2? 2.55. Right? And then here, what is square root of 17 again? 4.1. What is 1 minus 4.1? Negative 3.1. If you divide by 2, negative 1.55. Everybody got that? That's the real approximate value, not a precise value. Now, how do you verify which of these? Because remember, whenever there is a radical sign, what do you need to look out for? Extraneous. So see which of them would work, which of them would not. If you plug in 2.55, what do you get? What is 2.55 plus 4? 6.55. And then it is x. So what is the x value I've substituted? 2.5 so if you do apply square root you will get a reasonably closer number so this is a good one that's a good solution whereas this one if you plug in negative 1.55 plus 4 what do you get 2.45 am i right and then what is the x value i'm substituting so by the way square root of something what did i tell you it will always yield 
positive principal roots remember positive principal roots so you will get a positive value out of this how come a positive value will be negative that means this is extraneous so you have one solution that is the rational that's your answer if the book says d ignore that is that clear on everyone there has to be justification is that making sense everyone why you should you should ignore the other one okay. online student is that clear